A picture is worth a thousand words. Let's look at some pictures of Nick Dacos to see why he's such a good kick. First things first, look at the control of the ball. It's always below the waist. He has a long guide arm, and this balance arm is at 90 degrees and is a real feature of his kicking. He always has his eyes firmly fixed on the ball at the right time. His balance leg is nice and sturdy and stable, and he has his leg back in preparation to strike the footy. He also has a nice tall body, which is one of the keys to kicking on the run. You can see here that he always gets a nice relaxed push on the ball and gets it on an angle to allow hand action and lengthening of the guide arm. He always controls the ball to below the waist. And again, his balance arm is elite and is a real feature of his kicking. When he pushes the ball out, he gets the ball near a horizontal plane. His balance arm, again, is always out and a feature of his kicking and his eyes are firmly fixed on the ball. He grips the ball in a relaxed, open way. You can see that the ball is sitting back, his hands are in a great spot and his fingers are well spread that promote a really good ball drop. You can also see his ability to scan the field here. Nice controlled ball drop below the waist with a long guide arm and the balance arm is out. The feature of this is that the ball will always be in line with the kick leg, which promotes a beautiful drop and placement on the foot. Here you can see that beautiful control. His hand is still connected, yet most of the ball is under that waist. So from here, he's going to push the ball down, control the ball below the waist, and get the ideal drop. Again, his balance arm is in a beautiful position, and his eyes are firmly fixed on the ball. His style doesn't change for his left foot. He does all the right things. He controls it below his waist. His guide arm is long. His balance arm is in that 90 degrees. And again, his eyes are firmly fixed on the ball. Like we saw before, a key to Nick's kicking is this open grip. He likes to sit the ball back in this manner so it allows him to push the ball up and then follow down for that nice controlled ball drop. Again, scanning for options, this is a real feature of his kicking. His style does not change on his left foot. He still pushes the ball out and gets it near a horizontal plane. His guide arm stays nice and relaxed, and his balance arm continues to be the feature of his kicking. Again, this is proof that he has great control with that beautiful grip on the football. His hand is still connected here, and all the ball is nearly below the waist. His balance arm again is beautiful and he's in a nice upright body position with his eyes firmly fixed on the ball. Finally, even when Nick kicks around his body, you can see that the ball is in line with his kick leg. You can see that his guide arm was long, his balance arm was out without for stability and his balance leg is nice and stable. This kid is an elite kick of the football and is already one of the best players in the competition. A pitcher is worth a thousand words.